My guest today is Megan Henderson, your Southside Inc. Director of Events and Communications. Okay. All right. So this new space, the pool, has been in the works for two years. It's a community art space. Tell us about the pool. Well, the pool is a long vision finally <laughs> realized. I think we've heard from artists in the near south side that pricing for spaces to show and make their work has gotten a lot harder to find. And in the meantime, when we were shuttered during the pandemic, waiting for Arts Goggle to come back. A lot of artists were eager to still show their work, yeah. so we began putting the pieces of the pool together as a community art space. Okay, cool. So how does this work? How long uh, do arts groups get shows? How do they sign yeah. up? How does that work? So any of the truth is we don't fully know yet. <laughs> we're, we're kind of got the tiger by the tail. We're figuring out what to do with it. Our plan is to start the first year, yeah. 2022, as a series of artist collectives that'll come in and show their work for about a month at a time. And we think a four to six week show is, gives the public a lot of time to come in and see the work. And it gives a lot of artists an opportunity to show together via a collective. Then as we transition to 2023, we're gonna start bringing in individual shows mm -hmm. for kind of solo shows from artists as well. Well, Megan, tell us about this work. So this is the Massey's Rainbow. It is the one and only permanent piece of our collection at the pool. And it is the repurposing of the old Massey's pole sign that mm -hmm. stood on this site for over 60 years. Yeah. When the building was constructed, the, the sign was the last thing left. We took it off the pole and stored it for over a year and then had a large commission opportunity. We put out to the public over 90 artists applied uh, to be the artist who would repurpose it. And 15 year old Kaya Crum was the mm, winner wow. of that kind of artist competition. So she repurposed the sign by envisioning Massey's as a modern brand and has painted this beautiful rainbow as a symbol of being welcoming and kind of fitting in with the pool theme mm -hmm. of uh, the space. So on gallery night on March 26th, mm -hmm. we're gonna be dedicating the piece. Kaya and her family will be here and we'll also be inviting the public to come and share their stories of Massey's, leave them on the cards and kind of keep a record, a part of the history of this former site and its new purpose. I'm joined by Clifton Crawford, executive director of Seneca Studios. Uh, Clifton, tell us about the show that you have currently at the pool. Well, Seneca Studios is a nonprofit dedicated to education and community, we love glass art, mm. and so we bring people in to experience glass. And this show is our annual gala, so to speak. We've transitioned a couple times over the past few years, as everybody has. And so this year we went back to our roots, where we exhibit glass art, we invite the community of glass makers to participate, we show off emerging artists and established artists. So Syndica Studios, like I said, is about bringing people together. We have an incredibly talented and dedicated team. Uh, and so we have pieces that represent our, our staff, the coordinators, and all of the people who make up Seneca Studios. Tatara Siegels is our, Tatara Siegel is our education and uh, outreach coordinator. Uh, there's also some work in here that represents her personal work, but she also has um, some good examples of outcomes from our outreach program in the community. So Tatara has several pieces that she's blown and suspended, and then she's actually created some prints off of this work as well. We do a lot of outreach programming. One of our big ones is our uh, visiting artists uh, and residency program. Uh, Chad Holiday is an incredible artist. He got a Fulbright to go to the Czech Republic to learn all from the masters all about cast glass. And he's come and taught several times at Seneca Studios. So we're thrilled to have him a part of this exhibition again. Chad Holiday makes this incredible uh, thick cast glass that captures light and really projects these incredible passageways. Uh, it's a wonderful material and cast work really shows it off in a contemporary way. Another big part of Seneca Studios is Kevin McGeehee and this is a piece that he's made recently in his new body of work. Kevin is our studios coordinator, he's the muscle behind Seneca Studios uh, and has been a, is a founding artist and has been with us and is a huge part of what makes Seneca happen. Well, Clifton, uh, I have to say it's very fitting that your nonprofit was the inaugural group in this space. Uh, Syndica Studios has historically been a huge part of what has made the near south side what it is today. So, uh, thanks for your time. And remind folks how long this show runs and where they can visit you guys on social media. So you can see us on social on uh, Facebook and Instagram. SyndicaStudios.org is also a good place to find information about classes and all that we offer. Uh, this show will run through gallery night. That's the closing reception on March the 26th from noon to 9. And so I uh, invite you all to come join us. Okay, cool. We'll be back. Thanks, Clifton. Thanks, Thanks for your so time. Much. It's been fun. Thank you. Appreciate it.